Your channel is your homepage or your visible presence on YouTube. So if I search for my name in the YouTube search bar, I can see that my two channels are returned as search results. My students don't typically view my videos from YouTube. I usually embed them in Schoology or Google, but this is how my public channel appears to others. It has my recent uploads and some of my popular videos and any of the playlists I've chosen to share publicly. If I click on my account picture or icon and choose the settings gear icon, I am taken to my account settings. An important item on this page is your mobile uploads address. This is an email address that you can use or give to your students to upload videos directly to your channel. So if students are recording with iPads or mobile devices and that video is small enough to attach to an email, they can send it to this address and it will automatically appear in my video uploads. Of course, I can delete any videos that appear that I don't want on my channel, and I can click right here to reset that email address if I need to. Most videos are too big to email, so you probably won't use this feature very often. If you select View Additional Features, you'll be taken to additional information about your channel. I can see that my account is in good standing. If I had any copyright issues, they would be noted here. Make sure to leave monetization off on your Jeffco YouTube accounts. Some people choose to monetize or allow ads to be displayed on their videos on their personal YouTube accounts, but you are not permitted to do this with your school account. You'll notice that clicking view additional features took me to an area in YouTube called the Creator Studio, which is an area you'll visit often in YouTube if you're uploading your own videos. While here, I'm going to customize my upload defaults by selecting that link in the channel menu. My videos are going to be set to upload as public in the education category. Of course, I can adjust these settings video by video when I upload, but my defaults are just that, the default. This is where you can also turn off comments, or if you select approved, you will get an email when someone leaves a comment on your videos, prompting you to approve or delete those comments. The comment will not appear on your videos page until you approve it. Make sure to save your changes. Let's take a quick stop at the Advanced tab to make sure you have turned Advertisements off by selecting the option for Advertisements not to be allowed alongside your videos. Again, save your changes. I'm going to click on my account icon and the Settings gear again to get back to my YouTube settings so I can adjust my privacy and email notification preferences. On the Privacy tab, you can adjust whether others can view your subscriptions and liked videos. And the Email tab controls the amount and type of notifications you receive. Right now, I am notified whenever someone leaves a comment on my video or subscribes to my channel, which I like in case I want to delete any comments if I choose to. You can adjust these notifications as needed, and you can also choose Do Not Send Me Any Emails. Save any changes you make. Now that your YouTube preferences and settings have been customized, let's explore how to customize the appearance of your channel. Click on your picture icon in the upper right and return to the Creator Studio. Choose View Channel. You can add a channel art banner, which allows you to upload a picture from your computer or choose one from the gallery. I recommend disabling the popular channels on YouTube gadgets since you have no control over the items that are selected here. And visiting the About tab will allow you to add a channel description if you wish and add links to a website or another resource if you choose. Please take a few minutes to check your YouTube settings, upload defaults, and make sure monetization and ads are turned off. If you'd like, customize the appearance of your channel so it looks just the way you like.